I wanted to do a little more playing around with the FFT. And what I was trying to do is see a sine wave in its pure form, as you're seeing right here. It's uh, 1 kilohertz. I could set a marker, but you'll take my word for it. That waveform, that, uh, uh, um, that right there is 1 kilohertz. And what I wanted to do is look at the, the product, the extra harmonics that are brought in by uh, other waveforms, other well-known waveforms. So that's the sine wave right there. I'm going to switch it over to, uh, um, and by the way, before I do this, I mean, the window can vary. This is Hanning, right? And there's flat top, and rectangular, and uh, Bartlett, and Blackman. We use Hanning for this, maybe go through the other ones. So that's sine wave. And that right there is a square wave with all of the secondary harmonics. Uh, I'll do another video where I actually measure the harmonics, but I'm not going to do it in this one because it would be way too long. But what I'm going to do is just move through and take a look, at least within the size of our, our, our window. It's an FFT, so it's only capturing so much. But those are basically the harmonics that are introduced uh, as part of the square wave. And we'll bring it back to get our fundamental here. And we'll just put it right there at the first graticule. And then we'll look at triangle. That's a triangle. And just as I've looked at on other ones, you could see you have the fundamental, and then you have your third harmonic and fifth harmonic. And they sort of work their way down uh, into the noise floor, like, like a staircase. And I don't know at which point it would be within the window to pick that back up, but that doesn't matter because what we're looking at is a, a repetitious wave. So that's triangle. But while we're here looking at something with with some harmonics, let's switch over to, to flat top. That's what flat top looks like. I also don't have my uh, uh, 20 megahertz uh, uh, bandwidth limiter on. That would probably, probably be a little helpful in cleaning it up a bit, but that's okay. And then we have rectangular. Bartlett. And Blackman. So that's how it works. Triangle, square, and the sine wave has no uh, uh, secondary harmonics. It doesn't, or shouldn't anyway. I don't, I don't know how, when you start getting down to these measurements, how uh, uh, well the, uh, the uh, signal generator is. It almost, almost looks like there's a harmonic right there. Like it's not a perfect sine wave, but for the most part, it serves our purposes. Thanks for watching.